In the Internet Information Services on a Windows 2019 server, we can go in and change the file that it looks for to go to for the home page for a website. So I'm going to go into INET Pub, www root, and we see the IIS start page. Now this is the default web page for a website that you just create when you install Internet Information Services. So for instance, if I go in and I type in the IP address of my web server, there's my default website page right there. Let's say I got a brand new page and I want to show that instead. We can make that change in IIS. So if we go into IIS and you can get there from server manager and the tools menu. If you have not gotten this far yet, then you can look in the playlist for how to install and configure IIS. So we're in our default website and what I want to do is click on the default document. And we see there's the default document, H, default.htm. None of these files actually exist except for this one right here, iisstart.htm. So what I want to do is I want to move a default new page that's in there and make that my page. So I'll go back into inetpub www root. That's the default location. And I'm going to pick out another file. I'm going to create a new one. I'm just going to go into notepad. And I'll type, this is my new web page. And now what I want to do is I want to save it into my same location, my INET pub, www root, and I'll call this new page dot htm. Now the capital letters don't matter. I just did that to make it easier for you to read it. There we go. And now I'm going to go back in and click add and call this new page dot htm and click OK. Now we see new page htm comes before IIS start htm. So that means since it goes in order, it's going to pick my new page first. If IIS start was above it, then it would pick that page first. So I know I'm in good shape. I can go ahead and use this. Now, just to be in the safe side, I'm also going to restart the site because sometimes it doesn't refresh automatically. And now the website has restarted. Now I'll go back in and hit refresh and we should see the page we just created. And there it is. This is my new web page. Now, one thing to keep in mind is it does not pay attention to the size of the text that I put in there. And that's because I didn't put any formatting information in my HTML uh, code. And that's because I used no code whatsoever. So you can ignore the size of the text and you will go ahead and add that in along with anything else that you want to put into your web page. So that's how you change the default document in IIS in a Windows 2019 server, but it also works in all the versions of Windows Server.